systems of equations and matrices. In this module, we're going to be looking at linear systems of equations in either two or three variables. Then we're going to look at matrices. What are they? How do we manipulate them? And most importantly, how can we use them to help us solve these systems of equations a little more efficiently, especially if we use technology? Okay, so why are we studying these? Well, systems of equations have lots of application value in a lot of different settings. The two examples on our screen here are linear systems and two variables. We know that when we graph those, we get lines, so that's what we see here. The first graph has a red line representing or modeling the cost of manufacturing a particular item, while the green line is representing and modeling the revenue, how much money we're bringing in from selling those items. Where those two cross is called the break-even point. That's very important for a business because it tells them how many items do you have to sell in order to meet all of your costs. There's no loss, there's no profit, you're just breaking even. The second graph is more personal. If you're debating between two vehicles and figuring out which one's the most economical, which one's going to be the best one for you, you also have to consider more than just the initial price. You're going to consider things like insurance, or in this case, gas mileage. So the Prius in my example here is going to have a higher purchase price than the Cobalt but it gets better gas mileage. So when I extend out, based on the gas mileage and the initial prices, extend out these two graphs, I am able to determine that it's about 90,000 miles where the Prius becomes a little more economical. So if I'm somebody who puts on a lot of miles every year, that might actually be the better car for me in the long run. Another example, real quickly, that you may have seen in one of your other classes is equilibrium point. So in an uh, if you're comparing the demand curve to the supply curve where those two intersect, that's equilibrium. That's a good spot. All right. Now, this next example is actually a little bit of an extension. We're not going to get into this. It's called linear programming. But I did want to show it to you because it's really a, a neat thing uh, of using systems of equations. So we're optimizing, in this case, profit, knowing that we have certain constraints, uh, that we are limited on our cost that uh, we want to spend, how much we're going to invest, and we're limited on the number of items we want to manufacture or have the capacity to manufacture. When I intersect those, I find the intersection point, but that's not always the optimal point. Turns out the optimal point is going to be on one of the vertices, one of those three points on the corners of my shaded area. All right, one last example. So what about a system of three equations? Well, this one is a dietetics problem. You know, how many servings of this and that and everything else should I eat in order to get the nutrients and the calorie requirements that I have? Well, I'm going to set up a system of three equations, but then I want to use my matrices, so that little box looking thing called a matrix. I'm going to take the numbers from my system, make a matrix, then I'm going to plug it into my calculator, which we'll learn about as we go through this, and have it manipulated down to what we call a reduced row echelon matrix. Why I would want to do that is because then I can look at that final matrix and say, well, here's my answer. Okay, so that's a really quick overview of systems of equations. In this module, here are the things you want to make sure that you're able to do by the time you're done. You want to solve those linear equations uh, systems using algebraic methods. So we'll talk about something called substitution and addition elimination. We'll do a little graphing, but focus on substitution and addition. Then we want to make sure we can do the application problem. So we'll have to be setting up equations based on the word problem. Then we're going to look at matrices. As I said, how, what are they? How do I add or subtract them and manipulate them? And then finally, how can I use those to solve those systems? If you have any questions, just let me know.